before the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace, your throne of mercy this evening, Lord God. Father, I thank you for another beautiful day that you've woken us up to, Lord God, that we can come together of all walks of life under this tabernacle tonight, God, that we can come and receive your word, Lord God. Bless your ears, Lord God. Bless my tongue as I bring forth your word, God, and cover me with your precious blood, Lord Jesus. Father, bless those that are hurt, those that have come with a heavy heart tonight, God. Father, that you have touched and that you have healed them, God. Don't let them leave this place the way they came in, but God, you give them that healing touch, Lord God. Make a way for them where there seems to be no way, Father. For you are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Yes. You are the way maker, you are the doctor, you are the healer tonight, Lord God. Yes. Father, we praise you again for this night that we're able to come together in this youth rally, Lord God. I thank you, God, I put this word back into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Like I said, I'm happy to be here. Hallelujah. Once I got the call, hallelujah, I couldn't get August 4 out of my head. Hallelujah. I was seeing it when I was getting up and dreaming about it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But if it's one thing I love to do, is I love to talk about Jesus. Hallelujah. Because he's brought me a long way, like I said. Hallelujah. And I thank him for that each and every day. I thank him for my salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight, I'm going to share the word of God in Luke 2.49. Hallelujah. Chapter 2. Verse 49. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to begin at chapter verse 46. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus, hallelujah. I didn't know this was the first night. Thank you, Lord. I heard a lady on the radio this morning saying that she was um, fellowshipping over here and she's from White River. And then at the end, she finally said it was the camp meeting that she was over here fellowshipping. Thank you, Lord. I praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to start from verse 46. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed that his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. 49. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Was he not that I must be about my father's business? Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I was thinking about this youth rally. As being a young person in the church, you, you tend to want to do a lot of things in the church. Well, that's how I am in my church. I'm a Sunday school teacher, I'm a, a song leader, a choir leader, and I thank God for that. There's not a lot that go to our church, but I thank God that He's placed me where I can do these things, you know, freely to do. Not to do it just because I got to do it, but I'm doing it because I love to do it. Amen. And you know, you, you got to love to do what you're doing in the church. Your love has got to be in it. And I thank the Lord that there's a lot of young people, even on our reservation, that they're coming up here, Lord. Hallelujah. Or even the ones that are in the church that have been saved for more than 30 or 40 years, you know. God, you know, as a young people, we go through so much, but yet God is always there. Like I said, you know, I was coming up in the church doing the song, the song lead and, and everything. I did it because I love to sing for the Lord. Hallelujah. And in this youth rally, hallelujah, 
Go all out for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Give all you can. Hallelujah. You know, that's what we do in our youth ground. We're going to have it started September 2nd. September 2nd for two weeks. And I thank the Lord that, you know, that he's placed us to do things like that in our church. Hallelujah. To put up the tent and to invite people and get more of the word of God when it is needed. Hallelujah. And I thank God, you know, that as being a young young people in the church, sometimes people tend to look over you, say that we don't know much or push you aside, look over you. But I encourage you tonight to stand strong in the word of God. A word is going to keep you strong in the word of God. It's the word of God that is going to keep you going no matter what. Accepting God in our lives puts us, you know, in a situation where we no longer live for ourselves, but we live for God. We no longer have rights. We no longer have, I want to do this, I want to do that kind of thing, but it's all gone. We can't go to places where we used to go, where we used to, to love and chat with our friends. We don't do that anymore because we're in God's will now. Amen. We no longer ourselves. You know, sometimes a lot of 